Hello, I'm YCV. Welcome back to another episode of How I Spend My Thin Jan Holidays. If you've been here on my channel for long enough, you may have already known that I have a boyfriend and my boyfriend and I are in a long distance relationship. I'm basically from Myanmar and he lives in Singapore, but he's a Burmese. Since I got a long Thin Jan holiday from work, I took this chance to come visit to him. So here is my part two video of how I spend my Thin Jan holidays with my boyfriend. Some of y'all on my channel are like, I get it, you got a boyfriend, it's time to unsubscribe and stuff. I mean, this is my personal channel where I share my journey and ideas. So if you think this is too much, bye. This is the new bikini I bought yesterday because I forgot mine at home in Yango. And I'm loving this so much because this makes me look like a 10 year old kid. We're on our way to get an ice cream because we saw an ice cream cart nearby so I really hope it's not closed yet. We're really craving for ice cream. <laughs> This is the sunscreen I use. And then next up, I'm gonna use um, foundation only on um, the area that I need. For example, like this eye bag. And then I'm going to use the sponge. I'm going to wash this. I can't see clearly, so I'm just gonna look at the mirror. This is uneven. Something went inside my eye. So I'm gonna put my sponge back in the container. This is very cute. This is my eyebrow pencil from Hardy Heart. This is like the cheapest eyebrow pencil that I can find in the market. So yeah, I'm very cheap. I've been wearing makeup for like probably nine, eight or nine years, but I still have a Hard time drawing symmetric eyebrows. This is the powder packed that I use from Bella. I've been using this for like a year, but still it works. So now it's time to do my eyelashes. I'm gonna use the curler. I have to be very focused. My eyelashes are very, very, very short. It's like, it's like, non-existent oh, so I'm not gonna apply eyeliner today because it's gonna take another hour I hate it when this happens it worked it happens again I'm just gonna use this 
What is happening to me? Uh, what is this happening to me? My lips are very dry, so I need this. So I apply this before I wear any um, any lipstick. And what is happening to me? I just broke the lipstick. That's okay. So this is my final makeup look. It's like very natural. Like you didn't put any effort, but it took you like an hour. Twist it like this, upward. And then hold it for like a few seconds and then gently drag it down. Okay, like this. I'm gonna show you one more time. I hope it works. Okay, like this. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, like this. What happened to this? So I got my makeup done and hair done and we're ready to go out for lunch and to buy Legos for my brother. Today we're visiting Snow City. I'm very excited. Um, the last time I had been to somewhere like that was when I was um, 10 years old. It was in Malaysia. And I was so excited that it almost seems like a dream to me. And I know that it's not gonna be the same feeling anymore, but still I'm like very excited. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I can film inside, um, so we'll see. Um, the train is coming.
Rápida. Twenty brain teasers to test your logic skill. Oh, what is log logical thinking about? Okay, anyway, let's see. Jack, why is it? Ten seconds. Ten seconds to figure out the answer. What tastes better than it smells? Fish paste. A tank. Oh, the old, 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 the before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the tallest mountain in the whole world? It has always been the tallest mountain, even if it wasn't discovered yet. Now, How can a man survive eight days without sleep? He sleeps at night. If you had two oranges and six plums in one hand and three bananas and two pears in the other, what would you have? Extremely <laughs> large hands. Okay. Oh, no. oh, I'm with you all day but not all night. What am I? Sun? That's the sun. The shadow. The sun not hold down. She da wall flesh line of shadow What's broken every time it's spoken? Silence. If a plane crashes right on the border between Canada and the United States, survivors. where should they bury the survivors? survivors? Whoa, are you supposed to know international aviation laws or something? Survivors, you bury the captain. Have you made up your mind? Canada, USA, hmm. But are you 100% sure they bury the survivors? Mrs. Brownie, despite her name, loves the color pink. Her bungalow is decorated entirely in the bubblegum color. Pink carpet, furniture, curtains, even the walls are pink. So what color do you imagine the stairs are? Perhaps if there were stairs, they would most likely be pink, Pangaloga. but bungalows just have one floor. I was about no to say it. No stairs needed. How can it be that every single person in a plane crash died, but two people survived? This is a straight-up paradox, and you have only 10 seconds to explain it. Because, because they're in a relationship. Single oh. person in a plane crash died, but two people survived. Because they're in a relationship. Oh. I don't know. The thing is that those two survivors were married. Yeah. Every single person. Yeah. Ah, I yeah. see what they did there. <laughs> and it's still not dark um, and there's not a lot of people at the swimming pool so we're gonna go for a swim we're heading out to the airport and um, going home we saved up extra before we ran away from home
Thanks. <laughs>